Yo, what's good? Gang gang, it's your boy Jack. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I make R&B beats. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you all my favorite presets, my favorite VSTs, my favorite sounds, and just generally how I do things. So yeah, if you wanna learn how to make some fire R&B beats, all different styles, check out this video, let's do it. So I've got a project loaded up here and uh, we're just gonna break down like kind of everything you need to know about making R&B and obviously me showing you how I do it. So first things first, tempo. You want to be working in between probably, I would say 95 and 115. Anything higher or lower than that, and it's just not going to sound quite right. But obviously, you can experiment it as possible. But for me, that's what I like to use, those kind of tempos there. I haven't made anything, by the way. This is a completely blank project. All I've got is some chords laid out ready. Master channel. I like to use T-Rex Clipper. This just goes for all my beats, but I'm just going to show you guys this anyway. Yeah, T-Rex Classic Clipper. No preset, just what it comes out uh, as the default. And then above that, I've got a sound shifter. Quickly being able to change the key of your beat is super helpful when it comes to making beats. It just really helps, you know, expose any flaws in the beat that might be hidden due to ear fatigue or something. Yeah, let's get into the melodies. This is kind of like a go-to chord progression that I've made. Something like I would always make. We're working currently at D minor. A really nice scale for our R&B is D minor, B minor, A sharp minor, F sharp minor. Those are some of my favorites. These are just minor triads with a with a fifth. Oh no, sorry, a seventh on top. Yeah, these notes here are the sevenths, I believe. You get these nice big chords, better than just a normal triad. And uh, yeah, I started with a D minor chord, an E minor chord, and then we've gone to an A minor chord an inversion and put an A sharp at the bottom. And then this is a diminished chord here. So we're using a C sharp, which is one note below the root note, which is D, just giving us that really nice R&B sound. I always love to do that. So these are kind of like my go-to kind of chord progressions uh, for R&B. I'll add some switch ups and stuff and I'll, I'll change the kind of positioning and the structure of these chords. But a lot of the time it will be something like this. Let me show you guys uh, a nice preset as well. I love these presets from this loophole free bank in Analog Lab 5. There's so many nice sounds in it. So I'll either use like an excellent R&B Rhodes preset, so it's just a Rhodes, or we'll use something a bit more interesting. This sound here is called In the Bible. Really smooth chords there. So we can go for like a sound like that, or we can go for a more pad kind of sound rather than a key. Wow. I'm going to use that, but I'm going to render it out. Pads, keys, stuff like that. Really nice sounds. Uh, roads, even. Those are like go to sounds for me when I make RB. And that bank is, is a great one to check out if you guys have Analog Lab 5. Most important effect before any kind of like effects plugins is an EQ. Have that at the top. Uh, this preset needs to have some high end cutoff. Having a frequency band like this is great because, like for any kind of R&B sound, because you really want to get rid of those high ends. You want to make it sound underwater, you know, filtered out. And then after that, we've got some cool effects that I like to use. This is Shaper Box, and this can make some really nice effects. Oh, I love that. Just gives it a nice little bounce. We can do a little pan as well. But yeah, Shaper Box is just a great plugin to make your melody sound a lot more playful, have some more rhythm, just make it more unique, less like a standard kind of chord progression or melody. After that, we've got Fresh Air. Now, this is normally used for like vocals, but it sounds really good on certain melodies. So I'm just using like the presence pop kind of thing, and it's just giving it some more mid air and high air, which is basically like, I want to say boosting the frequencies. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but. So it's boosting those clean higher frequencies that we're kind of lacking. After that, we've got reverb, of course. A nice big chunk of reverb is great for R&B. 
and these are my settings i like to use valhalla vintage verb honestly i don't really change the mode that much preset either i just have the mix on about 30 percent pre-delay all the way off delay on about two seconds the size can be turned down as well and make sure you turn up the low cut to at least like 350 400 hertz just so you're not reverberating any of those low frequencies that we don't want And another plugin to put in there also is a, a chorus. I like to use this one. This one's a Juno chorus from Arturia. Presets, honestly, mode one and two is quite good. Turn down that mix a little bit. That's a nice, simple R&B chord progression right there. And we'll keep the MIDI up here as well for like a reference. Never delete the MIDI. Even if you export out to stem like audio files, always keep your MIDI in there just so you can kind of keep track of what's going on. So yeah, that's the chords. After that, I would normally do like a bass sound. So I've got two options right now. We've got Growl and Moog bass, which is a go-to sound from Atmosphere. And it's like a long bass sound. So it's, so it's not a plucked bass. It's like an actual synth bass. You know, it'll go on for as long as you want. Or got a plucked bass which is boxy move we can either do the long bass or the short bass i'm going to try both for the sake of the video but yeah these are two really good presets honestly easy way to do a bass is just to follow the bass notes of the chords that's about right or we can take that and put it into the more plucked bass We can always extend these ones out as well. Like I said before, we can use the sound shifter to kind of check if things all sound good. So I like to go down rather than up. So we'll go like down two usually or down three semitones. Yeah, that's like chord's fine, actually. You see what I mean? Your ears start to get fatigued and they'll either go one way, they'll they'll start telling you that everything's shit and it needs to be changed when it doesn't, or they'll go the opposite way, which is everything's fine when it's not. Yeah, sometimes my ears fatigue super quickly and I'm just sat there thinking science shit when it's not. So yeah, that sound shift is really good to just kind of help snap your ears back into where they should be but i'm liking the sound of that plucked bass so we're going to keep that one in we're going to be looking to do some kind of accent so i like to use arcade for these accents now you can use one shots you can use textures you can use all sorts of sounds for this but i'm going to be using arcade this is a new bank they've added recently called honey and it's great for you know r b stuff yeah this will give us like some nice accent layers just to help make our beats sound a little bit more unique and special so let's just go through some of these um i might filter it to instrument occasionally but honestly i think i'm just going to go in I just pick one randomly. So we're using D minor. So now we're good to go with any of these. I mean, that's pretty fire. But that's a great layer instantly. That's a that's a really nice layer. Stuff like electric guitars, um, basses, that kind of thing is is perfect. That's a little bit intense. That sound. I would I would prefer something a, a, a subtle as well as that. a nice little sound there having like two accents to pair up with each other is, is usually quite good that's what i'm going to go for we are kind of aiming to get this beat uh placed it would be cool to kind of keep it very simple that's going to be for like a breakdown section that guitar i already i can already hear that sounding good high end that's our accents done and then we have our kind of chorus guitar or breakdown guitar or something there so yeah the beat is looking good so for the drums we're going to be using my brand new drum kit called moog moog <laughs> for the drums we're going to be using my brand new drum kit mood this is a r&b drum kit made by us and it has 200 brand new sounds in it, specially created for making R&B beats. 808 synth bases, textures, you know, rims, perks, and all the essentials as well. 
yeah and it's now available so if you want to click the link down in the description and check it out for yourself you can get yourself a nice new r&b drum kit do is we'll give it a nice simple pattern for now this is a go-to for me i like to do a two-step hi-hat with a kind of changing velocity bounce you know i don't know what it's called but yeah you guys will see me use this all the time and also i like to time shift the hi-hat as well by about 0.2 that's my go-to that just kind of moves it yeah that shift has made a lot of difference now so there's all kinds of different snares in here there's more like standard ones like this you know it's just like a sort of a straight sound just like a a hit but there's some in there like this they've got these really cool little textures added onto them and there's weird sounds like that in there you know i'm gonna use a snap and don't worry we will we will put some reverb on that snap to make it a lot more ambient Do a little roll here, maybe make these hi hats a bit more interesting. Yeah, that's perfect. We've got loads of cool effects perks in here. Give it a delay sound. Loads of different kicks, loads of like acoustic ones and synthesized ones, punchy ones, filtered out ones, there's loads. Got some nice rims that we could have used, but honestly, we're pretty much full up on sounds right now. If we wanted to do an 808, we could, but honestly, we've got the synth bass in there. I'm not going to bother with that right now. And then that leaves us with effects and textures. I love some of these textures. I love putting them in there in certain parts where there's no drums, just to kind of give you some kind of percussion element, I guess. It's just really cool. And then these effects are nice. There's loads of like rises and drop sounds like that on the drop is hard. There you got these little rises as well. The drums are in there now. Let's structure them out. Let's separate the channel. That's, that's brilliant. That is exactly what I want. Level up is really cool. Ritual's nice. My favorite is conveyor belt for sure. Before we start worrying about the structure, let's just give it a quick mix. There's a bit of leveling and reverbing we need to do. That is pretty essential for making R&B. Make sure I keep it hitting at about zero. Same bar snare. Got our snare right here. Perfect. Maybe a bit more. Snap needs to go up there as well. Right, that can come down a little bit. That can come down a little bit too. So yeah, that's a good little leveling for the drums. And I'm going to do a reverb send here. Basically, what that means is I'm going to send a bunch of different sounds to the same reverb, just because I want to reverb a lot of these sounds, just because they're a bit too dry, like the snap and some of the perks. So this just makes it way easier. That's our chorus done right here. This is a great like second half part here. Love it, it sounds great. And now we're gonna start our verse. So what I'm gonna do for the verse is we're gonna get rid of the guitars. We're gonna get rid of the kick to start with. 
I'll copy it back over again though. Probably just getting rid of the hi-hat to start with for the very first four bars as well. Chords, we could go up or down an octave or half time or something to just give us a little bit of a switch up. Yeah, we'll make this one unique here so we can do some stuff to it without affecting the original. And then we could do a low pass filter on that. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. We'll automate it so it only comes in on the the new version of the chord. Yeah, our transition now sounds like this. So we put the riser in there as well. A little twinkle in there too. Fuck it. That's nice. the whole beat over in fact that that works just fine there's one more thing or a few more things you can do to spice up your r&b beat a little bit more you can also start playing with some panning so i like to pan different effects uh left and right you know i don't automate the panning i just have it fixed for that point so i have a, like a little bit on the right here like one of these sounds sounds over to the right and then and that is how you make r&b or at least how I do it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to A, leave a like and B, subscribe if you're not already. Yeah, make sure you check out the Mood drum kit, the brand new R&B drum kit I've released. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. All support on that is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I know you guys are gonna love these sounds and I look forward to hearing what beats you can make with this kit. Follow me on the ground, Prop by Jack, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.